to kick off the sales analysis activity in the North Wind Management Information System, take the order details extended and add some extra columns to it. In design view, we have the two tables joined together, order details and products. Use the show table option to add in orders, customers, employees, suppliers, and categories. That'll do us nicely. Close that off. Push now down onto the grid, customer ID, the employee ID, supplier ID, and the category ID. There they are. Update the orders extended. You can save on top of the old one. Uh, from this, we can start producing some of our elementary sales totals. For example, for customers. I can create a new query, create query wizard, <clears throat> simple query. I select my extended query I've just been working on, orders, details, extended. I'm going to go and select the customer ID. I'm going to select the extended price. So let's call this um, customer customer sales totals. ALS customer sales totals finish <clears throat> this version has got 2,155 records so I want to go for a summary across each one of the clients if I go back in as a into design mode uh, totaling total by customer ID and some extended price so what I have now has a, a reference to the customer and I have 89 totals corresponding to the customers who have purchased from Northwind I'm going to save this. And I'd like to do some reporting on that. Try and produce a report that could be sent on to others. I'm going to create a new query. I uh, think based on customers. So we're going to create a query, simple query. I want the company name and I want the contact person, possibly a, a phone number.
I'm going to go and modify the query because I want to add my sales figures to it. I'm going to go to show table and add in the query I've just been developing, customer sales totals. It will link on customer ID. So I want to add into my new query sales figure i'm going to change access is rather long name into simply sales i'm going to save this now as customer sales and contact person so it's going to be save object as Customer sales and contact person. AAC contact person. Now, using this query, I can go and produce a report. So, I'm going to go and find that query. It's sitting down there. I'm going to go and create a report using report wizard. I'm going to select all of those columns, all those fields. Okay, I'm not doing any grouping. The ordering is an alphabetical sequence by company name. And now I report my first version of a report entitled Customer Sales and Contact Person. So in class, we will make some changes to the layout of this, some simple changes. But for the moment, let's just save our work. So I'm going to save my report. Save object as. Customer sales and contact person. 